Hello Answerly viewers, I got a question this week from viewer MateJ45 asking how to decide what book to read next. This is a conundrum. I know I'm sort of your personal advice guru here on this channel, but guys, I don't know everything. Here's what I will say. If you have any books sitting around your room that you borrowed from somebody else, read those first. I know the book lending world is a very obviously shady one, and often people never get books back that they willingly lend out to others. But come on, you don't want to be one of those people. So first, read the books that aren't yours so that you can return them in a timely manner. After that though, it's really hard to decide. I am totally with you there. I usually start by narrowing it down by genre. Am I in the mood for fantasy? Am I in the mood for nonfiction? Magical realism? Science fiction? Once I've narrowed it down from there, then I have to really ask myself, am I in the mood for a sad, heavy book? Or do I want something more lighthearted and fun? It usually starts becoming a lot more clear at that point what my options are. Sometimes I get totally derailed and I start looking at books that I've already read that I want to reread, but for the purpose of this video, let's try to keep our eyes on the prize and try to read new books because I'm sure we all have a bunch of those lining our shelves. Also, if you're anything like me, you're probably reading more than one book at a time at any given moment. And that's totally okay, but if you're gonna do that, my personal advice is to try to pick books that are really different from each other so that you don't get anything confused between the two of them. Lastly, you're probably just going to shove all of your new books aside and reread Harry Potter or whatever your personal favorite book is anyway, so you could always just skip all the stuff I already said in this video and jump right to that if you want to save yourself time. You know, whatever. What books are you personally currently reading and what was it that made you decide to jump into that book as opposed to some of the other ones that you might have at your house? Let me know in the comments below and until next time, it's game over. Many of you probably have blogs of your own or have at least considered starting one. But what if you don't know how? What if you don't know what to write about? Where do you even start? 